right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to the last day of the I Spy Invitational. What a long several months we've had of this tournament. Um, there's been highs, there's been lows, there's been insane sub tens, there's been throws. That rhymes. We're here on the final day. This is going to be the lower bracket finals. We are in top three. All the runners today you see will be guaranteed uh, some of the prize pool. Uh, Cube is in the wings waiting for this. This is going to be a best of five. All the seeds are wild cards. The winner will uh, will have a short one hour break, maybe do a little halftime show, and the winner will go up against Cube in a best of seven, where Cube has a one game advantage. So, uh, yeah, joining me in the commentary booth, it is Ready Band. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? We finally get a Ready Band commentary. It is normal, decent hours for EU times now instead of late NA time. So, uh, Ready Band is here with us. And our first contestant, just barely uh, losing to Cube a couple days ago from Winner's Bracket, the first loss down here in Losers. Coming up, a fresh PB in 116 RSG. It's the man himself, it's Feinberg. Hello. Yo. What up, what up? And uh, his opponent on the right, coming in fresh from a second COVID vaccine on low sleep. I hate to do this to a runner that's not playing their best, but it's the myth, the legend himself, uh, coming off of a very good performance from the Method Tournament. It's the man. It's your boy. It's Sizzler. Hello. Hey. Yo. Yo, what up, what up? Um, see, I'm, I made it Canadian with the A. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Nice. <laughs> see, I'm funny today. Everyone's favorite Canadian. Maybe that's how I should have introduced you. No, that's Funda. Shut up. Mm. True. True. Pretty true. Uh, okay. These guys, we have a lot of matches today, so we won't do any more fanfare. These guys know what's on the line. Um, the loser will get 10% of the prize pool. The winner is guaranteed at least 20%. And uh, yeah, it's all going to be pretty, pretty hype wildcard seeds. We saved the best for last. So you guys should be ready with World Files number one. And with that, uh, you guys can begin the scouting in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Oh my God, it's coming <laughs> to an end. We have Feinberg versus Sizzler. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I know you couldn't ask for a much better finals, Feinberg, Sizzler, and Cube. Um, the runners that have been just consistently playing faster, honestly, just playing really well. We've had... Yeah. A lot of good runners in this tournament, but yeah, these runners have, have proven themselves to be worthy of being in top three. And yeah, on this seed, on this first seed, kind of a fun one. We have a, what I have labeled a sub 10 seed to start them off. Uh, there's a really nice desert temple here. I think all the iron you need, maybe some diamonds, maybe some gold, maybe some food, could just do a full desert temple into nether entry. Um, there is a ruined portal here, which gives you some stuff, a flint and steel. I, I think there's six iron maybe in this uh, desert temple, so you might need the flint and steel as well from this ruined portal. But if you use this lava pool, you will spawn in a very special place, Ready Ban. As we see Feinberg, where is he going to spawn in the nether? Let's see. That's right. In the bastion. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're on the mini bridge in a treasure bastion. That's a fun little spawn. What better of a spot to start your treasure route than the spot where you start your treasure route? <laughs> yeah, it's it's not too far away. Um, let's see. Two to three pearls, I think, to get to the fortress. There's also a good uh, scouted travel from the fortress. So actually a pretty crack seed. Unfortunately, there's no looting sword in lower treasure. It would be kind of cool. Uh, we are going to see him start off, head straight to this ruined portal without getting trees first. And they will get TNT and so the iron from the chest. And I believe one use could for the TNT could be getting some wood from, from trees if you want. You can actually do that if you place them smartly sometimes. But so we don't see that on Sizzler's side. He's getting wood the traditional way. Okay, yeah, Sizzler crafting before going down. A lot of runners tend to take their wood straight into the bottom, blow up a TNT. Oh, there's a skeleton here. 
We do not have a data oh, pack oh. to remove mobs from the bottom of temples. It is a rare occurrence, but it happens. Sizzler gets one, but the skeleton doesn't trigger the bottom. That could have been run ending. That is a, so unlucky, but it happens so rarely. Wow. Yeah, Fiber um, did use a TNT on the logs and some dirt. I like that. He's got a stack of blocks for him. It looks like Sizzler just TNT'd the bottom of the temple, so he's also got a stack of blocks. And both runners entering some three. Oh. Fiber falling down, but he's alive. He's eating a golden apple now. The golden apple that Sizzler already ate. And yeah, he's crafting golden armor while Sizzler is already on his way to start the ninja brain route. Okay, Feinberg having a little bit of a trouble there with a piglin and he should be on his way as well. Breaking the portal mm -hmm. so that piglin go do not go to the overworld while following men. So I hope they will get some anchor um, to hunger reset, otherwise... <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one to watch. Um, oh, Sizzler, I believe, is on his way because mm -hmm. he's in the lava ocean and he's using pearls to uh, go to the fortress? Oh. Yeah, should be. Sizzler missed two pearls there. He pearled on top of the treasure, just barely missed a, a pearl to the soul sand ledge. Uh, yeah, Feinberg, those are normally only too deep, I think. So, yeah, he's going to have to hunger reset now because Feinberg got knocked off the bridge, and so he's, his golden apple is gone, so he has to hunger reset now, then apply fire as Sizzler had his golden apple, but he missed two pearls, and now he's taking the same amount of damage. And Feinberg hits his pearl. That was huge. That was like a 30-second, 40-second time loss, honestly. Sizzler missing those pearls. He's also going to be low on food now. I but they're place betting. Oh, Why? You have Team T. Ah, oh, this makes me angry. What are you? What? Don't what? <laughs> Feinberg's gonna have one less bet in the end now. He's got a bunch of fire to deal with. He doesn't have any blocks he got from that TNT, which he probably doesn't need. Uh, Eddie's. Is he just leaving the spawner anyway? Did he just blaze bet and then leave? <laughs> I think the spawner might have. Broken. The spawner. Yes. He forgot to protect the spawner. Oh my God! Use the TNT. Use the yeah. TNT, bro. You only have five beds. You have seven. Feinberg seems to be done. Six rods in his inventory. Getting some mushrooms for food is on his way to the scouted courts. I remember this lava ocean. He is very, very close to the courts. And we see the obsidian already. He's placing it for the portal. Some more blocks and he is out. He's very close. He has to dig down maybe 10 blocks. He knows the spot to dig down. I think Sizzler knows he needs to hunger reset and he only has one fire res so chat spamming fire res fire res drew your report on the fire res but sizzler knows he needs to hunger reset before he leaves nether so he's smartly waiting to put it on until after he dies because the potion effect wears off when you die so it's okay chat he knows he's waiting until the end of the blazes because he's a professional he's gonna hunger reset and then put the fire res on and feinberg in the end with no food very low hunger. He's out of sprint now. Oh, but he has mushrooms. He has mushrooms. He's good. Feinberg in the meantime gets the purge two minutes after he entered the ends, and that might be the end for this first game. First right. bet, second bet, third bet, fourth bet, and go. five. GG's. Good looking beds. Feinberg will get it first. He has promised not to throw after he's killed the dragon in this tournament. And he takes it. All right, welcome back everyone to seed number two. Ah, I didn't update the score, nice. I had all that time. We were just we we're just having a fun back and forth with Sizzler, you know? I just, I got distracted, forgot to update the score. It is 1-0, um, Feinberg here at ESI. It is gonna be seed number two. Yet another wildcard seed. What is it oh gonna be this time? Oh my gosh, wild card. It's crazy. They're they're wacky and wild. Everyone loves them. Wow. All right, you guys can begin the scouting for scene number two in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Welcome to the jungle. 
Let's go. Yes. Welcome to the jungle. Sizzler spotting a, des a jungle temple, which usually don't have like anything good in them. What what could be in here? Let's see. Uh, nothing in that one. Hmm. Uh, there's only four gold. That's garbage. Streamer, why would you, you give a seed with such a bad temple? so mean. Just why did you do this? <laughs> why? Okay, I, I hope for your best that the nether is cracked. No, it's Otherwise, terrible. I don't know what you I mean. I don't want to terrible. be here when the round is over. I don't want to listen to Sizzler being annoying. <laughs> Please be. Please have a good nether. This okay? has a bad jungle spawn. It has a bad jungle temple. It has a taiga village that's also kind of bad and kind of far away. There's very low food. Maybe this ruined portal doesn't have much. This seed is trash. This is a 30 minute seed. <laughs> There's nothing good about the seed. I'm sorry. I just had to give him one. Oh, is that a fortress spawn? Wait a minute. Wait no a minute. Way. Is that a bastion? Whoa, wait, whoa, what? whoa, 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 whoa. Is that, is that two bastions? Wait a minute, right man. Wait a minute, right man. Is that a fortress what? spawn with three bastions in the nether? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 wait a minute, I need to drink some water. <laughs> we see a fortress spawn, there's a housing bastion, and there's two treasure bastions that are four blocks apart. Oh, uh, that's a good one. That's a funny meme right there. What do we call this even? Okay, we have a fortress, we have a bastion. I mean, this we could we could call this Bor Tres. In Spanish, mm. you know, because three, I, I don't know. I like that. That's classy. Yeah, that is a tough one. The seed, very tough on the scouting. They did not have very much time for this one. Very rude seed. Very funny nether. Very easy, but a lot of scouting decisions. Already having enough iron for Water Bucket and Flint and is going to go to the Netherlands. Sizzler on the other side is visiting a mine shaft. And he is currently having some visitors in the form of zombies working with a wooden axe and some stone tools and looting some chests. If you gave me the seed and said Feinberg is going to enter at about 3.05 with full gold tools, an iron pick, a bucket flint and steel dandelions, I would have been like, you're crazy. <laughs> There's no way, but he just does it. He used the room portal and a lot of gold to his advantage. Uh, wow. And I think he's going to scout. Does he have bold colored mushrooms here? He's actually hope. big chilling. Like he's actually totally fine. Oh, he's doing housing first. What a chat. Wow. Okay. Uh, we see here Sizzler entering two, uh, one minute later actually than Feinberg, but his tools are at a huge disadvantage. Wooden axe that's already a one fourth durability, it's about to break. Stone tools, he got some iron from the fortress chest, but he does not have, uh, I don't know if he has dandelions for mushroom stew, maybe he does. He doesn't have gold tools, uh, and he's doing fortress first. So he's gonna be low on food and health here. Feinberg is out of the bastion six minutes and he's right next to this fortress. Oh, is that a bow I see? Oh. Uh -huh. Fine. We see the bow. Pre we see the arrows. Wow. Six beds, a bow, and 16 arrows. That is nice. And he's out. Feinberg said he's got everything crafted. He knows where he needs to go. And yeah, he's, he's going to be leaving now. They're about 10 minutes. Bed's pre-crafted, bow and arrow's pre-crafted, he's got fire res, he's got pearls, he's got food. He can do whatever end fight strategy he wants. So we'll see what his preferred method is now. I know he's practiced half bow. Wow, he's doing ninja brain, half bow, obby setup skip. Feinberg has not, this is the fastest consistent route I've actually, of any method to date, I'm pretty sure. You skip the center obsidian setup, you get a vantage point, you bow and arrow eight crystals, and you just wait up here. It's very fast, but also super okay. risky. Remember, he has to pearl early. It's the pearl travel time takes a while to get to the spawn or to the uh, perch, and he still has to do a setup. He can't forget, he needs to do a setup still. And Sizzler is exiting out. Sizzler having a really fast nether as we were watching Feinberg. Um, so Sizzler having a great bastion and he is on the surface. He is That's... purling. Feinberg is purling down. 
He's doing his setup. He gets it off with plenty of time. Feinberg's just faster. A lot of people, it's tough to get there in time, but that's a high dragon. He will get a perch with plenty of time here. Third bed looks pretty good. Fourth bed, nice. He four beds it. Sizzler's dragon is not perching. Well played. GG's. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We are going to finish this out strong. Sizzler is so excited to be here. So energetic. We got to get the show on the road. We got uh, grand finals to get to. Uh, Sizzler needs to take a long nap because he's sleep deprived. And so without further ado, you guys can begin the scouting of the third seed in three, two, one, go. Good luck. We're currently witnessing the lower bracket finals between Feinberg and Sizzler's best of five. Feinberg won the two first matches. Um, and this means UX, that if Feinberg wins this match, the match is over and Feinberg goes to grand finals. What do you think about that? Yeah, it, it could very well happen. And this seed is potentially more favored towards Feinberg, as this is the first type of this wildcard seed we've seen in all of ESI ready ban. All of ESI, all of ESI, this is the first time we've seen this theme in the tournament. You know why it's so special and so rare, Ready Man? Tell me, tell me. It is a looting themed seed. Not only oh, G -type? did we see Feinberg check out a looting two gold sword in this ruined portal, but guess what? That ain't it. There is a treasure bastion with a looting three sword at the bottom. Let's go! Let's get rid of some pogs and chat poggies, clips. Let's go, exclamation marks. I want chat to go crazy now. This is a naturally spawning seed that took a long time and just happened to seed find correctly. There is a playable rune portal with a looting two sword pretty close to this village. It's actually the rune portal is closer to spawn than this village is. And the bottom treasure does have looting three. So that's kind of insane that this naturally happened. This whole seed is very playable and can be very fast. Pretty sick. I did, I will be honest with you, chat. I did check the ends for this first series out of curiosity. And this is potentially the most viable zero cycle seed we have. Don't tell the runners, but this could be it. It very well could be the last chance if Sizzler doesn't get this one, and or if Sizzler loses, I don't think we're seeing one. Yeah, we will see what's gonna happen here. We have 10 seconds left. 2-0, Feinberg winning against Sizzler. Is this gonna be the match for Feinberg or will Sizzler win this round and have a chance to come back? We will see it now because the scouting part is over. Yeah. All right, Feinberg, he got the looting swords. A sizzler, he got a lot of resources too, but Feinberg, again, I think is a little bit ahead. He's gonna enter the nether again, <laughs> sub 3, but he's now front loading some wood while Sizzler is on the other side approaching another lava pool. He has wood already, he has iron as well for bucket and flint and steel. Feinberg now in the Netherlands, um, looking at the ghast, going to the bastion while Sizzler on the other side is. Uh, doing similar no he's going somewhere somewhere else he's going to are both going to the no no feinberg is going to the bastion and sizzler is going where this this is no way a treasure bastion what is this it's a stables those chests are close together i believe that's stables or yeah, five hearts for sizzler oh there's a double triple a stables i totally forgot about in this one you totally forgot about <laughs> I mean, it. I thought treasure was you obvious, know, but okay. No uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Feinberg is somehow out of this treasure bastion very quickly. I think the trades are very nice on this one, meaning Sizzler should actually be able to high roll and should be out quickly. The, true, some small true. ants. Yeah, the prize pool is 2,220 maybe around there right now. Um, yeah, and our stretch goal is $3,000. We didn't really think we'd even get past 1000 to be honest, so we've kind of made up stretch goals. Uh, we will do ESI2 for you guys. If you enjoy it that much and want to donate, 
at 3000 uh, we will. We'll do that. There's going to be ESI 2. And talking about price money, I want to say this again. There's still a 600 bounty for the first ever zero cycle performed in the tournament. An amazing strat that consistently <laughs> consistently can be a one minute end fight if you do if you do it correctly. And this end might be it. Well, Let's see. Thank you, Blade, for the five dollar donation of the prize pool, and thank you, Chatting Lowercase, for the eight hundred dollar donation. Their message was just smile. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Eight hundred dollar donation. We believe is from Small Ants, but um, <laughs> what? <laughs> We're doing ESI 2, everybody. <laughs> All right, then. Prize pool is now at $3,000. Uh, we don't have any more stretch goals. We're not planning to get even remotely close to this amount of money. So no more stretch goals. Thank you guys for uh, for the donation. That's crazy. And again, none of this goes for us, but these runners are going to be very excited to hear that the prize pool is now at 3000 as Feinberg enters the end on sub 10 pace. And he's doing bone arrows very nice because this means that there is a high chance for the dragon to perch earlier. Is that a perch? That's a perch for Feinberg. It is a perch. No way. Oh my God, is this going to be anti wex he only has oh another bed. Feinberg low on bed hits. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Never mind. He's totally fine. Feinberg does get it. It is not going to be a sub 10. But Feinberg will advance the finals. I believe Sizzler has forgot his light. He had the wood light, and I think he threw out his fire charges. So Sizzler cannot even enter end. Thank you. 